My DMX 2.0 features a powerful RGB color effects generator. To add an effect, select the Effects tab and click the Effects icon. A rectangle will appear in the upper left corner, playing a rainbow effect. Drag and drop this over your lighting fixtures. The effect can be resized by dragging the corners. We could also slow down the effect. Or speed up the effect using the plus or minus buttons. We could make it more gradient. We could even change the angle. And the width. So just take it and drag it over your lights. Now, if your lights don't turn on, head back to your presets button. Go on to your mega part tab and make sure that your dimmer intensity is at its fullest. Head back to the effects tab. Now you see the lights are reacting to the effects. That's our chasing effect. We have a spiral effect. We have a burst effect. We could get more gradient with that as well. We have the balls effect, which is the color balls. You could increase the number of color balls on the screen, the size of the balls, and the speed of the color balls. We have a plasma effect, very psychedelic. You have lots and lots of uh, different uh, parameters you could tweak here. We have our fire or flame effect. This is a really nice effect if you have um, pars or bars that also have amber in the color. Next we have our line. You could also change the color by clicking here and saying purple for instance. Now it's purple. You could also uh, change the fan length to very thin or very wide and you could also slow it down. Once you have a fixture that you really like, I would go down, make sure your compression is at zero. Then click on the tick button to generate the scene. Exit out of the screen. Double click. I'll put here crazy color balls. Enter, go to your live tab, and there you have your crazy color balls. Now usually I like to have a blackout scene, so I'm going to change this, bring everything down, and I'll make this a blackout scene. Blackout. Okay. Go to live. That is now our blackout. We have our crazy balls. Go back to our editor. We could always make a new scene as well by clicking the add scene button. Make sure we turn our dimmers up. We could, um, we could go all red. So hold shift, click. Make sure that the other two um, that the other two fixtures showed up as blue. As you can see right here, it's indicated that we are uh, gonna turn all three up at the same time. And there's red. We can make that a new scene. Go to live. Now you have red. You have your blackout, back to red, and your crazy color balls scene. Okay, back to red blackout head back into your editor let's create another scene let's turn
turn our dimmers up. Let's go with the green. All three fixtures, the green will come up. Change the name to green. Head into your live button. And there you have green, red, and blackout. Head back to your editor tab. Let's add one more scene. Let's do a fade. Turn on your dimmer. So all three fixtures. Let's go with the blue. Hold your shift button on your Mac. Lift them all up. Change the name on the scene. Let's go ahead and add a fade. Double click your fade time. Let's fade it out for about three seconds. Press enter. Head back to your live. Hit your blackout. Hit your blue. And you'll see a fade up. You see how that fades in really nice? The blackout. Hit blue again. It'll fade in really, really nice. You can see right here as well on your faders. Blackout. Head back to your editor. I always like to have a blackout fade scene as well. So I'll just put blackout fade. Press enter. Click on your fade. Give it a fade time. Three seconds usually does pretty good. Press enter. Hit it back to your live. Let's say we're going, um, we're going to go ahead and hit the red scene here. So you want to make it really dramatic and black out that, that, uh, that red scene and go to a blackout fade. And then I'll just black out everything. See, I want to go to green. And I want to go to a blackout fade. Hit my new blackout fade scene. And that'll bring it back down as well. You could also change the colors of your scenes. Hit control on your Mac. Let's make that, um, since it's a blackout, we can make this scene red since we're going with red. We could make this one green since we're going with green. We can make this one blue. Another blackout fade, we could go with a gray texture. And there you have it. So you have red, you have green, blue. You could change the colors, blackout. So here you have, we've created six scenes within my DMX 2.0. Very easy, it took a matter of minutes. If you wanna get a little bit more crazier, head back into your editor tab and you could start uh, adding loops and uh, what light comes next and more fades. And you could even add a trigger from your keyboard. So it's really easy to add a trigger. You could just go to set trigger. You could hit, uh, I don't know, let's use the letter Z. Click on okay. Now that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna trigger your blackout. So say for instance, you have red, we can hit Z, and it'll tell you right here what keys you have assigned to it. So I could go back to green, hit the Z on my keyboard, and that'll black it out, okay? And you could set that up for any one of your scenes that you've created. So on this one, it's set to always loop. Double click it, let's set it for one loop. Let's double click this one, set it for a loop. Let's set this one for one loop. Set the green for one loop. Set the blue for one loop. And set the blackout fade for a loop. Then we're gonna hit next. Double click on this. So they're basically saying what's gonna come next after the crazy uh, color ball scene. Uh, you want red to come in next. Say for instance here we could have the green come in next. Here we could have the blue coming next. After blue, say we could have the crazy color ball scene come back in. And here we could just go with our blackout fade. Okay. Head back to your live tab. Press play. Click on your scene. Here's one loop. Going into the red loop, green loop, blue loop. See it's set to a fade.
and they'll just go on and on and that's basically building scenes. Now with the crazy color ball scene you could see here all the different steps that were taken in order to create or build that, that, uh, that particular scene. And that was all generated through your scene builder. Okay. As always you could uh, add more, you could take away certain steps, you could um, copy and paste certain steps, you can make certain steps longer by just clicking, double clicking on it and making it take a little bit longer or less. You could uh, apply a hold time to it. The next topic we want to cover is what is the difference between a hold time and a fade time. Let's get into a new scene. Here I'm just going to go ahead and make this into a blackout scene. I'm going to go ahead and set that for one loop. and I'm going to add a fade to it. I'm going to double click on the fade time and give it a dramatic fade in of three seconds. Now I'm going to build another scene. We're going to click on our add scene. We're going to turn our dimmer intensity up. And we're going to go with the red. Double click on that. Type in red. Press enter. I'm going to give it one loop, press enter, I'm going to give it a fade, check on that. So now that we've added the fade, I'm going to go ahead and assign it a fade time. Once again, I'm going to give this three seconds. I'm going to add another step by clicking this button right here, the add button. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and zero this one out. I'm going to apply a hold time to it. Let's say five seconds. Press enter. Okay. Let's add one more step. Now with this step, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a two second fade along with a five second hold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from red green. Now we're going to use our next properties. We're going to double click on the next. We're going to bring in our red next. And then we're going to double click on the red and bring in the blackout scene. Press enter. If you want to preview any steps you just made, all you have to do is just press the play button here. There's our fade, three seconds, our five second hold. Now it's going into our fade, our two second fade of green with a five second hold. So now that we've added those three steps, let's see what it looks like using the loop function and the blackout scene. Head over to your live tab, click on that, click on the blackout scene and there's our fade. Here comes our red scene with a three second fade into red with a five second hold, with the fade on the green into a five second hold on the green, and then it recycles to a black fade out to the black scene, and then back again to our red scene. And it'll just go on and on until you either add more scenes or until you stop it. Now we have a set of numbers up here next to our play button. This number signifies what step the scene is on. This tells us how many steps are in that scene. This will tell us right here what the hold time is and what the fade time is. It's basically sort of a countdown. And then right here, it'll tell us the duration. We have a few simple scenes. We applied a blackout scene with a loop. We told my DMX 2.0 we want red to come in next. We applied a fade to it with a fade time of three seconds. On our second scene, we had the color red. We went on ahead and named it color red. We added one loop to it. And we told MyDMX 2.0 that we want our blackout scene to come in next. And we also applied a fade to that, along with two other steps. 
Here we applied a five second hold on the color red. In our third step, we added a two second fade into the color green, and then we're gonna hold that color green for five seconds. Now you could add several steps. You could delete steps, and you could copy and paste steps very easily to create some pretty awesome shows. And that's basically covering the whole time, fades, and the difference between the two. So we were generating effects, we were building scenes, we were talking about uh, scene steps. And as always, you could take it and you could always delete it, which you just created, or you could always um, duplicate any kind of scene and then take steps of those scenes and mix them up and move them around as well.